As many as 400,000 Americans suffer from multiple sclerosis, a disease of the nervous system. Tonight, Dr. John LaPook tells us about a new drug that may provide relief. Six years ago, at age 45, Jerry Gullick suddenly developed leg and back pain, numbness, and severe fatigue. She was barely able to walk, and working at a demanding job became impossible. I had to quit about seven, eight months after I got my diagnosis, and the fatigue was overwhelming. So bad The diagnosis was multiple sclerosis. Many MS patients can manage their disease through the use of several helpful medications, but Gullick is one of the 10 to 15 percent who have progressive MS, which has no approved treatment and continuously gets worse. Three years ago, she joined a trial of a new intravenous drug called ocrelizumab. It targets an immune system cell which, in MS, is felt to mistakenly attack the nervous system. In the more serious progressive form that Gullick has, the drug slowed down the rate of disability by about 25 percent. Neurologist Dr. Fred Lublin of Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City worked on the trial. It's a very big deal. Yeah, you have to start with success. And this is the start. And so this is, for us, the start of, of treating progressive MS, the treating progressive MS era. Gullick says this drug is giving her new hope. Maybe this is what I'm going to have for the next 20 years. And that's OK. Whereas before, I was thinking, in five years, I'm going to be bedridden. So you can see the silhouette of an at least acceptable future. Yes, exactly. This drug works by suppressing the immune system, and researchers are still looking at it closely for any serious side effects. And Scott, the FDA is expected to make a decision about possible approval by the end of March. Doctor, thanks very much.